Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a flip through of my Christmas journal um, folio. It The kit is from Line.Arrow and she has the regular kit, the add-on kit, or you can buy them both together and save a little money. And then there was a lot of freebies in the group, Line.Arrow and um, four other groups like I, I can't think of them all Sweet Pea, Paper Craft um, I can't think of all of them but um, I will have the links to all their Facebook groups below I will have a link to the kit in Etsy and let's get started and this one is a folio like my usual ones and I did to get their coffee stain shown and little clusters on them. Okay, and then we'll just open this. And it's got paper there and the layered one here the little hearts put that to the side this opens you got all these journaling cards and then a big journaling card in this pocket and then in the envelopes are I've got three envelopes with all the little extras because there were so many extras and she did have like two sets of numbers and I did not put any of the numbers in the book they're all in this envelope in case whoever wanted to do like this as a December daily they could have the one you know December 1st and put there and journal and then the two and journal so I did not use any of the numbers in the kit they're all in here <clears throat> and journaling cards journaling cards journaling cards one of my little miniatures with the little miniature papers and here's a tag and I didn't back any of them because I needed to keep in mind of the thickness didn't want it to become too gayer uh, recipe card because you always need recipe cards for Christmas and I love this kit This was a pack of paper I got from Goodwill one day, real cheap, and I thought it went. Another one of my miniatures, pocket, with a journaling card, and a tag. And a little cluster on it. Little cluster, journaling cards. And here's one of my dangles. That was the third challenge to make dangles. And here's the line paper with the graph paper on the back. And see, all that's writing space. I, I made sure this journal had a lot of writing space. <coughs> I always make sure all my journals have a lot of writing space because that's what it's for, right? And one of the challenges was layered tag. I don't think them were two that I made for that. Paper, 
coffee stain paper. Or, yeah. Or tea stain paper. Again, a tag and a recipe card. And the signatures are, they're removable. They're just tucked in with the plastic. And here's one of my envelopes that I make, and it's full of the little extras. Tester. Another dangle. Here's one of my layer tags. Make a tough spot for that. Journaling card. And see, like, this was some of the extras that I had. So I just lined up the corners and inked them and put them in there. Here's another one. Tags. And This is a very pretty kit. And this one has four signatures. So she's a big girl. Another recipe card and tag. Cluster. Second week's challenge was like to make something that you would send in Happy Mail. And so I made this. And then it's a tag, but this bottom part, you open it. And it's got journaling cards and some paper and some tags in a little cluster. It's got a little, I did use one of the numbers, the five, but it's got a little cluster in the front. <coughs> Another dangle. Another one of my layer tags. So it's just three tags clipped together. Now this is a big girl. It's another tag and another little piece of leftovers that I 
that in there. And the last signature. And here's my um, little file thing that I never put anything in. I let whoever gets the journal use that for whatever they want. And here is the final dangle. Another layered tag. Journaling card and a little piece of leftovers. Leftovers, more journaling cards. Here's another layer tag, just three clamped together. So much writing space in this. And that's the end. Another envelope full of stuff. This opens up. It has the journaling cards. Journaling cards over here. Um and a big journaling card here. And that is it. But this is how it looks from the side. Very pretty if I say so myself. And then, like I said, the signatures, they're not sewn in, but they have that elastic. And I doubled it to make it more secure. But at the ends, I just tied these green beads. And see, so there's no strings on the spine. Up there and down here where they tied. So that is my... Christmas journal from Blind Dot Arrow Cozy Christmas Kit. And like I said, I will put the link to the kit below the video, the, all the Facebook groups below the video. Um, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.